Hi and welcome to Craft for Business. In this video we'll be creating an employee handbook. These documents require plenty of collaboration across multiple teams to create a document with all necessary information that is still easy to navigate. In the People Teams Daily Stand-Up, a task has been created for team members to do a final check of the handbook to make sure everything is correct before it's shared with the whole team. They've tagged everyone there who needs to do that, with a checkbox next to their name. Let's take a look. Here's the first draft of the employee handbook for our fictional brand, Company.do. The People team have done a great job at making this look good. Now Jane Truman, the CEO, can access the team workspace to look over it and make any changes necessary. Jane should have some input on the value section as there have been some changes here recently. Let's take a look at the delivery card that's been made. First off, let's add a comment to the top section. I'll select it and use the three dot menu on the right hand side to bring up more options and select add comment. Now Jane can ask for extra content and mention the head of people, Rebecca Brown, using the app symbol. Let's take a look at how this will appear for Rebecca. When Jane finishes that comment, Rebecca will receive a notification up here to let her know someone has mentioned her. This happens if someone mentioned Rebecca in a comment or directly in a document. From the notification panel, we can go directly to the comment or block she was mentioned in and review or respond to it. Now that's done, we'll go through and confirm or feed back on anything else. You can add a comment in the same way that I showed you, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl, Shift and M to bring up the comment panel. With that done and those changes made, it's time for some input from Sam in the product team on which tools the company uses. As his team are the most involved in this, it's best to get this information directly from him. Inside the welcome pack, we'll go to tools we use and start filling this out. I'm going to create toggle lists for this content. In other videos, we've done this via the style menu here or using the forward slash menu like this. In craft, you can also use a variety of keyboard shortcuts for lists. For a toggle list, it's control, shift and seven. Now I can go into this list and change the next line from a toggle to a bullet list with Ctrl, Shift and 8. Even if you're pretty familiar with the content that you need, having a second opinion is really helpful. I'm going to mention the Chief Technology Officer here to add some of the core tools that are used for the company.do product. When you're online and collaborating on a document together, Craft will show you who's doing what by highlighting the block that they're working on like this. What's great with Craft is you're able to collaborate and comment within your team, but also third parties like creative agencies and legal consultants. There are two ways to do this. You can create a separate space to work with an agency and collaborate with them, or you can share a document with them on the web. In the employee handbook, we're going to have a legal assistant take a look through the privacy policy for the company and make any comments they want to have confirmed. When you share a document with someone either outside of your team space or even someone who is not using Craft, this is what they'll see. Not only can they access all of the document, but they can comment on sections, just like if they were in your team. Now the legal assistant can add comments, suggest changes and verify them directly from the shared document. Even better, with the document shared to the web you can reply to comments and any changes to your document will update in real time too. So. We've covered how to work on a document with multiple people, either through comments or actively collaborating within the same document. Craft is built for sharing and we've made it as easy as possible to get everything you need from within and outside of your team. Make sure to check out other videos in our Craft for Business series, where we cover everything from setting up your workspace to working collaboratively on projects. Thanks for watching.